What is going on, Rangers fans? I am Randy, and we are back for week... Uh, actually, this isn't a week game, but this is... The Summer Showdown Surge All-Star Gold Bracket. Turn on my lights. Forgot to do that. Um, I apologize that the mic's a little off today. Um, basically, I'm trying a new format for my mic, so if it's a little too sensitive, it's my fault. I, I messed it up. But it should still be all right. It should be. I'm not sure. Um, but we are doing. We are in the surge. If you guys didn't see uh, last week's video against Astro J, with that win, we were put into the gold bracket. And this is the gold bracket right here. Let me go ahead and hide my face so you can see the gold bracket. Um, as you can tell, uh, we have uh, all the matchups here. And as you can tell, the bottom right, you have, of course, yours truly, Randy HLD, going up against a fellow D League representative in Goldola Dragon. So obviously, this is. <laughs> kind of a big match for me. Uh, I, I believe if we lose, we're out. We're pretty much out. No more games. We're done with Surge. Um, but if we win, we face the winner of Kelly and Matt. So that'll be an interesting matchup if we get that get that far. Um, but I want my revenge, man. I want the revenge. <laughs> you guys know why I want the revenge, man. <laughs> he dropped me in, in uh, GBA D League. I already told y'all I didn't do well in D League. I want to. I want to get some respect on my name. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I battled Godot, I was a little salty. At, at the end, I don't get salty. I don't want to play, but I did, and that was kind of a wake-up call to me. That one, I need to stop caring too much, even though I, I feel like everyone needs to try to be, have respect for your opponent and stuff. Um, but obviously, I'm kind of a meme. You know, I didn't do well. <laughs> Hashtag pursuit didn't do too well. But at this point, man, I'm, I'm modeling my my future games off the goat Zazo. You can't care. You just can't care. So um, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play, just click buttons, do my best, bring brainless teams that only I can use, because that's apparently that's all I can do well with. So that's the that's the plan there. So let's go ahead and move into the actual uh, game. Uh, this is my quick team builder uh, for this. Um, of course, uh, Godoa's channel will be in the description below. We have uh, Burb the Pelipper, Rain Setter, uh, just enough speed to outrun. I believe um, the Matang encasement Matang is a little fast. Um, I'll roost and defog, defog in case webs gets annoying because Yodoa's team um, is a little annoying. I didn't get to show his team preview here, but I'll sh maybe edit it in at some point on the left side of the screen. Um, Raichu, Zap Plate, he has no ground type. It's a great Pokemon, Focus Blast from Rotom, uh, Rotom Frost. Um, spike Stacking, Ferrothorn. Um, knock Off and Explosion. Explosion mainly because this mod probably will be a pivot, more than likely. I don't have a main pivot on this team main wall, so that's why I have it here. Um, the right three, uh, Kabutops, uh, Z liquidation, of course, no switch into that to that thing, and Jet to be able to revenge maybe Zam if it's faster, like outside of rain or something, um, and of course the him on Lee, got a choice scarf for Pissimian because it's he has no ghost type and it's good, pretty good mon here, and then uh, Meloetta, and let me go ahead and explain the protect on uh, Meloetta, Raichu, and the uh, Kabutops. That is because he does he is packing a Kabutops, and if I let him get off his white herb. I'm oh, sorry, not White Herb, the um, the normal gym. Then he gets a speed boost and he can outrun my rain. However, if I protect on Fake Out, Fake Out doesn't work and the gem doesn't proc. So I still am able to outrun. So that's why I'm packing Protect on the three Pokemon. Because those are Pokemon he could probably take advantage of um, with the Fake Out. And if he tries to do it on Ferrothorn, then the Barbs and the Helmet will put him in range of Aqua Jet. In, in the rain, of course. So um, that is my main reasoning for that. Um, and yeah, I mean, his team, it's, he doesn't have an answer to rain. Like, I, I'm going into this game, I don't see a way I can lose unless I start just throwing stuff away. You know, like, that's the only way I can lose. <laughs> like, straight up, so, um, hopefully we can pull out a dub. Like I said, man, I want my revenge on this guy. Uh, Godoa had a great run in the D-League. Very surprising. So a lot of people accept himself because, you know, Godoa, he's confident in, in what he does. So, you know, yeah, let me go have fun. Have fun, bro. Sorry, I didn't really talk to him. I kind of missed, kind of missed his last few messages. But, yeah, it should be a, it should be a good game for sure. Um, of course, you do take on the winner of uh, Kelly and Matt. Not sure if they've battled or they're anytime soon going to battle. So, um, I didn't get to import my calcs, which is a little annoying. But, who needs calcing, right? Alright, I'll do single or single battle to sign myself. And of course I feel a little nervous. Life battles, I'm getting a little bit shaky for some reason. I don't know why, but that's the way I've been getting the past couple of times we've been battling. 
or dueling battles, I should say. All right, so let's go ahead and do it here. Let's go ahead and get started. Live games are so much fun. I don't know why I do post comms, bro. Live comms are just a way to go. So here's my team. Everything looks to be in order. All right. Let's go ahead and do it, man. Surge round one of the gold bracket versus Godoa Dragon. Let's just click buttons and see where it takes us. All right. Um, let's go ahead and take out my screen so we can see what's going on here. Um, pretty much uh, what we could have expected. Spider, Matang, and of course, Darn. So, I told myself at Builder I was going to always lead Pelipper because I don't want to let him set up with Spider, his webs. Um, I still kind of believe that, although I kind of want to lead Pelipper. I mean, uh, Pelip I mean, I kind of want to lead Feral Thorn. Part of me wants to go with Simeon, though. That makes some sense, but the whole reason why I want to lead Pelipper is to prevent webs immediately. I think I want to lead Pelipper. Because if he leads Rotom, I have Raichu as a switch in. And from what I know, he can't really touch me unless he's running like Hidden Power Ground or some other sort of nonsense. Um, but like I said, his rain switching doesn't exist. He doesn't have a real... I mean, he's got a water resist in his uh, spider. Max defense Matang, I suppose, is a good switch in as well. But Matang can't recover. And... Spider is weak to both of my rain abusers, or the main two being Pelipper and uh, Kabutops. Now, Charlie Berry is something that could very well be a thing, and Liquidation from Spider and Rain is very hard to switch into on my on my end. So I gotta be careful with that. So I mean, line up my HP bar, and I know that's already out of out of uh, out of whack. So Leech Rotom, as expected. Um, okay. So I could just probably go on the right shoe here. As obvious as that is. I could go Feral Thorn though. That's also something I could do. Um You couldn't volt switch, you'll have to double. Um let's just go on the right shoe. Let's just go on the right shoe here. He's gonna have to double if he wants to make a play. Can't volt switch. Um, and from there it's whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Yeah, I mean this is what I was afraid of, yes, but be having rain up's nice. Um, I believe Blizzard, I'm not sure if it has a lowered accuracy in rain, I believe it's only sun, for sure. But even then, I don't think Blizzard's to play. And the reason why I don't want to go Ferrothorn is because if he Volt Switches for some reason, if he Volt Switches for some reason, um, then Darmanitan comes in and it starts doing stuff. So... I just want to get Kabutops in as soon as I can in rain. Z, li Z liquidation is just, it's going to do so much damage to whatever wants to come in. So I do expect a double on this part or hidden power ground. I mean, he could do a lot of things. He could do a lot of different things here. He does wisp. Okay, that's something I did not expect him to do. That's pretty good. Um, and pack into Zap Plate. Um, I do kind of just want to go straight for the Focus Blast, though. Um, without a doubt. Um, but T-Bolt like, like, makes sense at the same time, in case he wants to like pain split or something. So let's go ahead and just test the waters out with the Thunderbolt. Let's go ahead and mess around and see what happens with this. Um, yeah. Shout out to Leo, by the way. Leo told me to name, his, name the Raichu after him. I still hate Raichu. I do, but hey, maybe I'll grow on it after this game. He has no ground type, so definitely has a chance to be big here. Um, his main switch into this would be the Matang. And then from there we can figure out what his Matang is going to be. I mean, actually he's main switching on a field, but I, I I can pack Focus Blast, and that's something he has to. I think he has to think about for a little bit, because Life Orb Raichu actually knocks out Focus with Focus Blast if he's running like no bulk, and he does stay in. Um, but I I went for this to test the waters out. There's a flat 25% here, 
and a red card or a jack button. That's actually pretty cool. Did it help out? Not at all. But um, that's one less item to worry about. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, I would love it if Hitmonlee came in here. But Matang's the play to get up rocks and force out Earthquake potentially. Um, and in that case, I can probably just um. Uh, volt out or just spam T volt, but I kind of just want to volt out. I suppose he could go Zam too. Zam's actually something he could go into. Matang is a switch in though to get up those rocks. Fair play. Um, going Ferrothorn's a trade hazard is kind of what I want to do here. I could also go Meloetta, but. I just don't ever want Darmanitan to come in for free or his spider. That's the one thing. Because I'll have to defog anyway if I try to spike stack. Because I don't want webs. I kind of just want to click T Bolt to get this thing weakened. I really just want to click T Bolt. I really do. He's gonna rocks though. I'm gonna T-bolt once, because he's gonna rocks. If he earthquakes, then I mean he got me, but that's some good damage. Some pretty good damage there. If he's packing earthquake, for I mean we don't know if he'll pack earthquake for sure. But that is some pretty respectable damage there. Um and from here we can volt into Meloetta, because that'll definitely put it in range of it dying, so. Meloetta is actually pretty filthy in this game, too, so I do have got to be careful with that. He's only seen Thunderbolt so far. And that Thunderbolt did about, what is it, 40%? About, about uh, yeah, about 40%. Oh, no, 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 35%. 25, 30, 35, 35 percent So, what can we assume about this Matang? What can we assume about this? Sorry, Matang. I actually like Matang. Matang is actually a pretty cool mod. Just for the record, all those uh, Matang fans out there. Yeah, that's roughly how much if he's max health. But looks to be not running too much Spadef investment at all, if anything. But after this Volt Switch, Volt Switch will be in range of Shadow Ball. And then from there, I mean, he doesn't have a great answer to Meloetta. Zam can't touch me unless he's got a single beam. Spider could definitely wall me, but I mean, a shock and then Pelipper coming into revenge with Hurricane or Defog is ultimately what I want. So it's looking pretty good so far. Zam is something that's a little annoying because he could definitely gonna be packing Sash, I would think. So I gotta find a way to get damage on that thing. Just switch out, good, good, good stuff. So Volt Switch is definitely a good play there. As Rotom comes back in, um. Rotom comes back in. And from here... I could go Passimian. We could go Passimian here, but let's check Meloetta here. Meloetta is more intriguing to me right now. If I can knock this thing out. I don't think I can though. So no bulk isn't easily gonna die. But that Thunderbolt did around 25% from what I remember. He's definitely running some health. I think Meloetta already can kill it. I think it can. I want to go into Meloetta first. Hmm. I think that's something we risk. 
I mean, it's not necessarily a risk. It's just like I don't want to go into into my um, Passimian just yet. Sniper voice is always going to be the play. Because Thunderbolt did around 25, from what I recall. I don't know his spread, but I think this is going to kill. 55% hyper voice, I think, should kill. Tim and Nature, max special attack. And then from there, he's going to have to go into probably his uh, spider. Or I suppose Darmanitan. But with rain, Flare Blitz isn't really a spammable option. Does knock him out. Great. Crit probably mattered, maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> you know me, man. I'll take what I can get. So it's pretty good there. Jam can't touch me unless he's got the Zig Signal Beam, which really won't do much. I think I think it gets Dark Pulse, though, but I don't. And actually, no, it doesn't get Dark Pulse from what I remember. I don't know. With Lee, obviously, I have the uh, Protect, then I can Psy Shock. Matang, I think, dies to Shadow Ball after those two hits it took. Darm, obviously, is probably. Perhaps an option. Let's see how much U turn does to me. U turn won't kill. No matter what, which is nice. Flare Blitz in rain never will kill either. He could go spider and try to get up his webs here. So that's something. He does try it, okay. Alright. What's gonna do more? Psy Shock for sure will do more. Without a doubt. Let's go ahead and click that. If he wants to kill me, that's cool. I know this is screaming Ferrothorn switching in, but. If I can prevent webs, that's more important to me. And that is doing no damage. That did no damage. We, am, we are living, though, which is actually pretty important. Uh, I'm surprised we actually did so little to that thing. How much? What is he packing, then? Because that's definitely max health. He's running a lot of defense. Or so, a lot of defense, yeah. I almost want to click Hyper Voice now. Yeah, let's gauge Hyper Voice damage. I don't think it really matters. I think Side Shock probably was, even a, was probably a better play. Um, but like I said, man, I don't want webs ever getting up, so that's my priority. Ever. I could see him going for it here, though. I could see him going for it here. But if he does, that's not a good. That's not really good. Well, I just gotta be careful. Zam could be annoying if he gets up webs, especially since Mellow is down. Because Ferrothorn, I mean, Ferrothorn can take it on, but I need rain in case he's packing him in power fire. And that's some good damage. Okay, so liquidation, all good. No webs getting up. Perfect. All I can ask for. And from here, I think Raichu's always a play. Just click Volt Switch. Or just T Bolt. That forces in Zam, though. Which I suppose is alright. I suppose that's fine. Mm. So if I T-Bone and kill him, he has to either Zam or Darm. Darm has hand Flare Blitzes, which, which lets in Pelipper. If he goes Zam, I think I still have to go into uh, Pelipper. But that's not even a big deal. But if I sack Pelipper, I have to know for sure I'm going to win the game. Or if I sack Raichu, I have to go Pelipper to get the rain back up, I mean. Ferrothorn isn't really going to do much from here, I don't think. So I could just go into that. I, I, there's a chance he could be Scarf Zam, which is what is really bothering me. I mean, Kabutops out, outruns. But the main issue is that um, my Passimian won't outrun it. So I don't want to go into Passimian earlier than I should. 
So basically, after this play, he's either going to go into his Darm or his Am, the only two that could come in. Now, he could choose to go into him on the... And if he does, then that's... Honestly, might be the game, because then I'll just ignore his normal gem. But there's no way he would do it knowing that I still have a chance to be packing... Um, what do you call it? I still have my rain. He does switch out, which is actually an interesting play. But Matane comes in, which is what is his only real sack. And this should be a three hit. Yes, absolutely. Perfect. He saved his um, spider, which is actually pretty interesting. Rain sacks are going to be important for him, for sure. So let's go ahead and see Bolt one more time. And knock out the Matane. And now... Kabutops is looking pretty nasty here. Into Scarpa Simeon. Both of those guys are looking pretty solid. Um, I think I just win, but I gotta play. I can't. I gotta play it right because we don't know what his Zam or his Darmanitan's packing yet. But I do want to check something. I want to see if Kabutops can knock out Darmanitan from full from an Aqua Jet and Rain, because that could actually be pretty crucial. Wait, what do I need an Aqua Jet? <laughs> There's only the Aqua Jet and Rain because I'm gonna be faster. But outside of rain, it's doing over half, well over half, so that's something that's cool. So Matang's gone. Spider practically is gone. <laughs> so this has to be Zan. He could go Darm, though. If he goes Darm, though, that's Street Pelipper. So if he chooses to Flare Blitz. And even if he's not choice, then he kills my Pelipper, and then I get Kabutops in. And then from there, it's just like, that's a yikes, man. Him on Lee. It is, there it is. Okay, perfect. So, um, protect is always the play. Every time. And from what I recall, this isn't gonna, this fake out normal gem is not gonna work. From what I know. Yep. And there it goes, man. That is so clutch, dude. And now I can just click T bolt. So good thing he went to him on Lee first. That is absolutely perfect, because now his gem is wasted. I mean, he can't do it now at this turn. He can't ever set up on right shoot. That's, that's what I'm trying to say, which is absolutely amazing. So his speed isn't proc'd. He can't try to go for it again. And if he does, the free T-Bull putting on range of jet. So that's exactly why I want to protect on Melobutter, on right shoot, and Kabudops. Because those were the main three he was going to try to set up on. Um, defensively, Feral can put it in range of jet. But Simeon is the only mod he can do it for free. But... I would have to have been locked in the close combat already, but yeah, I mean, it's the, it's something I risked at that point. So, I mean, <laughs> I think Zam is Scarf. I think I'm surprised he didn't go Darm though. I'm surprised he brought this in. To be honest, I thought Zam was 100% always a play. But now I just click T Bolt. Just go ahead and mock punch. Will it knock me out from here? Nah, perfect. And that's thousand percent range of Jet. The para. <laughs> At least we know he didn't limber. You know, he didn't go for that, so. Or Miss Jen or something. Um, but this is pretty cool, because now I can go into Pelipper. And go for Defog, if that really matters. I don't think it does. I, I don't think it does. Fake out, Mock Punch. He probably has... And he has a fighting move after that. He could have T-Punch... I defog. I think I have to defog. Yeah, let's go ahead and go defog right here. Let's go ahead and just defog. Anyways, I'm, I'll be alright. I think I think I'm fine. I think I win this game. Like no matter what, I just don't. I just got to make sure I, I don't screw up. So, um, let's go ahead and just defog right here. If he goes hard, Zan, that's that's. A play I'm okay with because now that him on these things been procced, I'm 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 pretty safe. Good defog. If he kills me, so be it. Then I have seven turns of rain to beat him with, or six turns, whatever it is. In which Kabutops comes in and just grabs kills. And if he sashes in, Scarf's close combat does win. Um, if I can get up rocks at least, because for sure Ape can take a hit in in the rain with that flare blitz from Darm. So. 
And the recoil should be enough for CC. I'm not sure, though. I should have probably put an earthquake on it. Um, but he follows the play. Um, for sure. Because he can't kill me right now. From what I know. And then I can just go and click Hurricane right here. Um, he just paralyzed. That sucks, dude. <laughs> but, I mean, if he kills me, I, I don't I don't think it's really going to matter. I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it matters. Because if he kills me, I can't go into, I, I can go into Kabutops because I can jet from there. And kill him. Sack Spider. I, I don't see... Because I have Protect on Kabutops. Yeah, see, I mean... He'll probably say it's, it mattered, but I don't think it's going to matter. But he has every reason to think it matters because he doesn't know what I have on my team, so... I can't blame him. But at this point, I don't see a way he can win. Because now I just got to stay in with Burb until he kills me with something. Kabutops wins, so... I don't see a way. <laughs> I don't see a way. There's no way he wins. Even with a scarfed arm, because I got the rain. He switches out, amazingly. And I had to be Spider, yeah. Okay. So he wants to save that fake out, which is pretty interesting. If he brings it back in, I'm going hard, Pharaoh Thorn. Not that I need to. But that double, I think Rocky Helmet and the Barbs will kill it after two hits, so. That's the play 100%. If he tries to set up now, I don't want to risk any sort of shenanigans. Even though I'm pretty sure Kaboot Ops will outrun it. It will outrun it because he's paralyzed, so. I mean, I don't really have to switch out because he can't kill me. And there's no reason for him to switch there anyway. He can't kill me with him on Lee. Unless he's packing Thunder Punch or something. Which I'm assuming he is. I think he is packing it. Fake out. He has to have, I think, knockoff. I think. A fighting move, and then we saw a mock punch. Fake out. Fake out mock punch or, or for sure guaranteed. I don't know, dude. This is. He's definitely in a pickle. I don't think he could do anything about this. I mean, the paralyze sucked in the fact that he couldn't get a hit off on me. And he does go hard and mail him only here, which is a little surprising. I kind of just want to go hard Feral Thorn. I'm not sure if that's a losing play per se. Because Kabutop still outruns this thing. But I think Ferrothorn is fine. Because he's going to take a lot of chip. Yeah, let's go hard Ferro. I got Boom anyway in case Zan wants to come in and do something. So, that's cool. In case he tries to like call my again, is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's cool. Okay, yeah, the pair mattered in, in the fact that he stayed in and risked it. Like, he had no reason to risk it if he didn't want to. But yeah, he can't hit me again, or else he's dead. So from here, I can just get up a rock. <laughs> he gets paralyzed. <laughs> to be, I'm max defense, so I don't think HJK would kill me anyway. But, that's just, <laughs> that sucks, dude. The paralyze is real, man. And I can just spike stack from right here. Yeah, let's just see. We'll see how much this does. He's not reckless. Um, so yeah, I did live it. As expected. On max defense. So, it mattered in the fact that I got up an extra, you know, spike. For sure. But um, that should definitely seal it now at this point. If you go Zam, I'm just gonna boom, or I could just well, he's not gonna build it. He's gonna kill me. So if he goes Dorm, I just go back into Pelipper, or I mean, I gotta just go into the Kaboot Ops and just from there, it's just pretty game, pretty much game. Yeah, that was a good game, man. I told you guys, there's given his team, there was no way he was gonna win this game because he would have to have brought some like extreme heat. Because like if if I just play my rain right, dude, like there was no way I was gonna lose because of what he what he had or what he did what he doesn't have. So just double checking my rain turns. I got three turns. Um, I kind of just want to knock off. I don't think it really matters what I do here, so I'm just going to go for knockoff. knock um, But he could have a Z, which is something that I completely forgot about. Um, so with two turns. And then for sure I just go hard Kabutops because I outrun Scarf. Um, 
and if he's Sash, then we know that my Passimian can win with Scarf. Or with U-turn, at least. So I could honestly do Z, but I don't think Z is necessary. I think Z is not necessary at all. I'm just trying to think of any way he can still win this game. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, absolutely liquidation is just always the play. No need to go for the uh, crazy uh, Z move. So, if he's Sekarf, I outrun him. If he's Sash, then I have Passimian to come in and outrun and click U-turn. Or, I'm sorry, just... Uh, yeah, probably U-turn. Actually, that's an interesting question. If he's... Interesting uh, predicament, I should say. Let me check out, because... I mean, I have two layers, though. Yeah, I have two layers. Passimian wins. Passimian wins, yeah. I forgot I have two layers of, of uh, Hazard. Because I'm pretty sure Passimian can take a hit. Even it, without rain. But I'll always have rain, because I'm going to sack Pelipper. Yeah, oh, I barely take it, though. So if he crits me, I could be... Actually, in rain, I'm, I'm snacking on it, so... Yeah, I mean, the game's over. No, no matter what he is. I think he's Sash, though. Yeah, there's a the sash. And energy ball comes out. Two turns of rain. Probably should have went Passimian, but it didn't really matter. Actually, Passimian was a losing play. So, we know Passimian's faster. I can honestly just click uh, knock off. But U turn makes the most sense. Or does it make sense? Uh, that's actually interesting. I wonder if knockoff will kill this thing. Well, knockoff. I don't know if I should knock off. I mean, I have to go Passimian regardless. But I don't know if I should knock off or CC or U-turn. I think I have to U-turn. With one turn of rain. If I knock off. But you'll die to recoil. That's... Ah. Why is this end game kind of annoying? I don't want to CC ever. This is, this is a dumb play. I'm probably overthinking it, but you know me. I gotta, I gotta get this down. Knockoff won't kill Darmanitan after rocks and spike. CC, but I don't want to risk Fred Blitz killing. I think I'm just gonna go for knockoff. Because I think I have to sack Pelipper here. And if he ends up being sub, I can take a Flare Blitz. So that's fine. Of course, with the rain. So I think I sack Pelipper 1000% here. No, 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 no doubt about it. Switching to Burb. take the flare blitz better if he rock slides i still got range so i can take the flare blitz and close combat will kill so despite me having two great matchups in this surge like in terms of like offense i still keep it close somehow <laughs> but just being weird now if he's scarf then it's whatever then i just win 2-0 but if he's not i win like this yeah he's scarf so that is gg to go doa he definitely played to the best of his abilities to try to get that win con in, but like I said, rain was just too much. Uh, I think Raichu was, the protect was definitely, but the protects worked in just like I wanted it to. GG, GG, I should say. And your Rangers are moving on to round number two, or whatever you want to call it, of this Surge Gold Bracket. Um, it was a fun game. Rain has been a lot of fun to use. Um, it's brainless. There's not much thought to it. These builds aren't hard because I just base it off the offense.
Um, and yeah, guys, hope you all enjoyed this battle. I will catch you all next week when we face the winner of Matt Oshia and Kelly under the radar. I'll see you all then. Go And of course, GT Go Doa, guys. Show them some love. See you all next week. Go Rangers.